Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. And uh, today I'd like to finish off part two of my pricing prediction that I started um, last week. So that's coming right up. Stay tuned for that. But I just want you, want you to have a look at this. And um, in this bull market, if you don't actually make money, and for most of you, if you don't make life changing money, I would put the blame squarely on your shoulders. And the reason why is there are three negatives that can impact your portfolio. One is the most common one. Your project goes a um, few percent down. Let's say you take a 10, 15, 20% drawdown on a project and you pay per hand. You just sell it, literally. You buy, you buy at the top. So everyone's talking about something. You enter that position within two, three hours or through, uh, you know, I've seen, you know, hourly and, and I've seen weekly or monthly uh, reaction by people where they just sell. Number two is just buying every narrative at the top. And therefore, you, you end up with too many cryptocurrencies, don't know what to trade and what to hold. And by all means, some of these cryptocurrencies, I have no love for them. It's only because of the fact that I want X amount of gains, and then I put that against a, a a a time frame. And normally in cryptocurrencies, the winners are those who hold. And it's easier the it's easier said than done. And I think that that goes for, for example, projects like Mint Layer, recently with Casper. When something goes against that project, or a narrative changes, or there's there's a shift in uh, in the investor mentality, what do people naturally do? they get out of their positions. And if you look at today, I mean, if you look at these bubbles, you'd see the market is doing well, right? Now, let's look at this on the um, smaller time frame. So let's have a look at the hourly. Ooh, not so green. And th th these are the kind of dynamics that you're going to consistently face on even a bigger time scale. And interestingly for me, where... So this bull market is like nothing that we've ever seen before. For those of you that, that have been here in 2021 and prior to that, you would know we had the all-time high for uh, Bitcoin. Then obviously we had the alt season and obviously we had the memes going absolutely parabolic. So this actually mimics the top of a bull run, but we're not out yet. We're not, you can't put yourself in a situation where you think either I feel too much FOMO or I need to reserve so much or preserve so much capital that I need to sell positions. Because either scenario, you know, the, the up or down scenario is very likely. And, and in my opinion, I think the way I see this is there's going to be a, a bit of a, a hiccup. And when I say hiccup, there will be a drawdown. And we're just not going to enter the, uh, set, you know, the, the kind of next parabolic stage of the bull run just like that. So be prepared, prepare your positions, know what you want to buy. This is a time when I used to, um, normally what I do is I look at the gaps in my portfolio. I, I identify what I haven't actually closed off in terms of a bag. And then I deploy capital into those silently. So when I say silently, I mean, I share this with the Patreons. We do, I just did a massive, massive uh, 10 project DCA, DCA alert today, just now and posted that on the Discord. Why? Because of the fact that we constantly need to monitor our bags. You know, for some people, it could be payday, right? You never know. Uh, so you have to consistently say, okay, you know what? I need to fill a bag and move on. Now, recently for projects like, for example, uh, if we go today, you might see some of your favorite projects here, like Casper's down 4%. Uh, another time it could be mint layer or any other project and they just arouse so much discussion that people are willing to sell at the loss a lot of people FOMO into projects they don't understand the fundamentals and and i'll tell you the, the reason why so let's have a look at the week and you're gonna see an explosion of meme coins here sorry uh the month so this is exactly what I'm talking about. We've, we've had an all-time high, and this gets a lot of investors scared. Are we, um, are we basically going to have a shorter cycle because of this? And I tell you what, 
most important thing here is the meme coins are going to be here to stay largely because of the Solana driven narrative. You already know that base is popping off and, and, and potentially AVAX has stuff going on there as well. But these casinos are also risky because it's not every day that you're going to find a Pepe or Book of Meme or, or Dog with Hat. No, but you need to play in that game in order for you to actually um, increase your chances. And when, when these projects take a dive, you've got to say to yourself, all right, we had that run before the halving. What projects worked well in my portfolio? Now, for example, if you buy a, a meme coin when it's dead, and this is a classic example, right? This is a this is a project um, that literally last year. So when it came out, I remember getting into this on the twenty um, eighth of April. Then it had the Binance announcement, and I sold a significant portion of my bag. Then it came down, and throughout this entire time, I've just been buying Pepe. Now, I quite quite quickly worked out the number of Pepe you need in order for you to make life-changing money and at the time for me was hold 10 billion pepe 5 to 10 billion even a billion pepe would have been absolutely insane but then no, nobody expected nobody was buying pepe at these prices i can tell you that now or dca and into it but look at the time it took when pepe was just doing absolutely nothing right and i can go to any of your favorite projects right here and that story will be repeated any any project and um, some of these, actually, I mean, look, this is up, what is it, 500% for the month, 600% for Floki. Floki is another example. where, and, and the reason I'm telling you, I'm going somewhere with this. The reason I'm telling you that is, if we get a pullback, look at your moon bags, right? Whether gaming, whether layer ones, whether proper projects, just look at what's depressed and what it's done before and try to DCA or close off the bags because in September last year, if you would have been buying Floki, for example, you know, boom, it's done the same. The same goes throughout the whole entire market. Now, the difference we're going to have this time round is the Solana meme coins are producing gems almost on a daily basis and the shift in mentality of those uh, or the, the mentality that it's causing is in the past, if I wanted to have, let's say, some additional cash to DCA, I would go to the leverage market, right? So I would go and uh, put a, I don't know, uh, 20x or 10x on a, on a direction of a project, get some USDT out of that, and then buy my favorite tokens or, or cryptos. Now I can literally just go to Solana, jump on a meme coin, make 5, 10x in and out, and then deploy that capital back into my uh, chosen project. So you need to you need to play, whether it's base, whether it's AVAX, whether it's Solana, you need to be able to play that game. Now, if again, you know, if I showed you this, prominence, cryptocurrencies that are outperforming the market, always going to be these category one meme tokens. That's why I w I've been recently watching the performance of uh, the book of meme. And um, it's right here. So pay attention to this. And uh, the reason why I'm paying attention to this is because look right now, it's going to go down, right? $780 million. Fair enough. It's, it's a large cap, but look at the chart. And this has a daily volume. I mean, look at this, 2 billion here, 4 billion. And, then, and the other reason I'm telling you is because in a bull market, your small moon bags sometimes don't have liquidity. Absolutely. And the reason why Book of Meme or a Pepe or something like this will have more liquidity, you've got to start planning how are you going to sell your other moon bags? Like if you've got, for example, uh, a project that does 100x, but there's not enough exchanges or those exchanges don't have enough liquidity, then really it's you're going to write it back down, guaranteed. So don't fade these. And if you can accumulate at $700 million, I think this is a an absolute beast that will continue uh, to perform insane.
because this is better than the Pepe chart, the Floki chart, the you know whiff is is probably uh, we can actually compare. Uh, so let's let's go to compare dog with hat here, and you've got so the orange is whiff, and you can see whiff is absolutely doing nothing here. All of the uh, towards the, um, the start of the year it was it was doing nothing. But this came out and did what? Well, how many months is that? Pretty much from here, you've got December last year came out and boom, explosion here just at the start of uh, or end of February. And then you've got with that came out last week and did that same amount of market cap. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> So you've got to, I mean, look at that volume. So you've got to compare these things and you've got, as soon as we have a dip, just put your position, put yourself in a position where you can say to yourself, am I looking at a Floki chart or a whiff chart or, you know, I mean, this is now maintained that supremacy. So it's going to be a huge meme, meme coin, but yeah, you've got to play with the second. Another popular one that I quickly want to show you is this little bad boy here. So this is now, this had a massive, massively strong start. And you can see here it's been completely sold off. Um, you know, uh, kind of like retraced everything. So it's more risky now than ever. Uh, you've got a, it had a massive, massive start. But just keep watching this because, yeah, volume is down 25%. And this is now down to $48 million. So if that same thing happens that happened here i mean what what did the market cap get up to here it was over 2 i think it was a 2 billion um uh, 1 billion or something did it did it reach 1 billion um from a market cap perspective it doesn't allow me to see but yeah you've got a i think this went to <laughs> crazy crazy market cap so you got to watch that and uh, the other one uh that i'm keen, keenly eyeing is success kit right down 28 percent retrace quite nicely has no centralized listings uh, at all okay okay it got listed here uh this by economy exchange i mean that's absolutely nothing but these are the sort of gems that you need to fill certain gaps with but i'm not going to bore you with that i'm going to go straight into our our discussion here so Last time I left it about here and um, the next project that I wanted to talk about is uh, Space Mesh. And Space Mesh right now, if we look at the, um, these I can take a, I can show you Space Mesh, SMH, $4.60. So it's a little bit up from the time that we looked at this and you got to keep loading this. For me, this could do anything from my predictions here. This could absolutely go to uh, to the moon. Price prediction on a bear side could be a hundred dollar token. On a bull side, this could easily, easily be over two hundred dollars. So, yeah, I predicted twenty five to seventy x. Bit of a range there, but nevertheless, you've got to take into account that this is on the uh, Coinbase Ventures um, portfolio, and uh, it's it's a unique layer one, and nothing like it in the space in the sense that it's a proof of space and time. So it could really be a behemoth, a giant within the within the uh, this bull run. The next token that you must have is the only modular or one of the few modular blockchains for gaming that has zk narrative as well. And this is G Swift. Now, G Swift for me could do anything from 25 to 65 X. And um, right now I'm leaning towards the somewhere in the middle of that, probably 30 X, but in a bear case, probably $15 token. And in a bull case, this will be around $40. The next one is an absolute gem. At the time of this recording, this is about 13 million, $14 million market cap. And that's Nexa. Nexa for me is you know, a proof of a work layer one and um, has a great technology. Let's have a look. It's up for the day, $13 million in terms of uh, the market cap. And 
it goes along with that line of you know you've got those really good proof of work projects like Casper. You've got you've got you've got Alephium, and this is kind of my dark horse in that space because you know in terms of my layer ones, I'm looking at the space space mesh Casper Alephium, and this one is one of the lower holdings that I have. However, it's a scalable decentralized blockchain, and. Uh, it is uh, for me anyway. It has a fantastic, fantastic technology, and um, right now it's so undervalued, has no exchange listings of note, and uh, I think this could do really, really well, uh, especially for the market cap, because we need to uh, we need to kind of you know high risk, high reward. That would be for me a play that I kind of hold right now, and I think this is one of my um, dark horses for the uh, for 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 decent gains. All right. Next project here, we talked about Peng. Um, next one is gaming, uh, and this is Super. Now, the thing about Super that most people don't actually, and it's up 12%, do you think we will have an impending um, gaming uh, season? I think so. It's well overdue, in my opinion. And uh, for me, the pick here is always between uh, Super, because I really I don't want to have IMX. In, in, in my list of, because um, I did have IMX in the bear market and I traded it for something else, which I'm happy about, but it's already massive, right? The one that I really like and that I always discuss which one is going to do well is Prime. Now, Prime for me fits a bit more of the, a um, uh, bit more of what I'm looking for in terms of the, uh, the AI aspect of it as well. But... If you are thinking of one, I think the both of these would be uh, because most people have a super degen cryptocurrency gaming portfolio. And the idea here is to have one or two projects like, for example, Super or Psy, Sia, something that has Oasis into that list as well. Something that can actually keep your preserve your uh, the value of your portfolio. So if some of these PCPs or, you know, OTKs or all of these, you know, lit labs, these games, if they don't give you that explosion, then you are a bit more safe here with your money. And that's the thinking behind it. So for me, in a bear case, you're probably looking at $17 in a bull case, you're looking at $29 for super. Uh, Sia or XAI, I'd say bear case, I'm looking at 15x. So $17 in a bull case, I'm looking at 25x fairly safe bet then the next one for me is zeta chain now it has just woken up and uh if you know about the kind of um uh so it's it's meant to be a multi-chain interoperable uh layer one and i think it's a really good project for me i have kind of a middle of the road approach to this i would probably say minimum case i'm looking at 20 and i've changed my bullish ratings on this and maximum probably 30x Next one is Sai, Say, layer one, fantastic project, already a huge market cap. I think this, look, I've put five to 10x here and that's a bit unfair. I'd probably say 15, probably 10 to about 15x for this. So $8 or $12, really achievable. Um, and, and I think it will, it will do that. It's a safe bet. You know, you can stick a lot of money in that. Uh, next one is Neon. And I, and I think Neon with the Solana narrative can do really, really well, in my opinion. I've changed my bullish ratings on this, especially on the upper band. I think Neon can do anything between 20 to 40x. That means it's a $28 or $56 Neon. Next is next. <laughs> this Web3 Play. I've absolutely tried to, I always try to get this one nailed and I think there could be more room to the upside, but 25 to 35 X from the current price point, And that's a seven to $10 uh, next. Next one is Shido. Now I know what you're thinking, right? So I was buying this quite nicely. And then obviously we know what happened. You know, I had a bit of money in there, lost it all. And uh, I bought a lot more since. Now I put 75% because in terms of my conviction rating, because what I really want to know is what's going to happen next, right? But since then I've bought another 
million tokens, right? Because honestly, with this price, do I still, I mean, the project in terms of, from a technology standpoint, I absolutely, you know, it was supposed to be my DGEN injective. And um, right now, obviously, a lot has happened, but the team's come back strong and I do like it. Therefore, I put my money where my mouth is and I've bought some more. Got some hidden gems here. If you wanted to join our group, uh, base level is $9 a month. Gives you a lot in terms of the um, benefits. Yeah, check out and join us and you'll, you'll see what these are. Uh, Natenso, I'm not so bullish, but I have put a, I have got a new gem here to, uh, to, to you know, which I replaced this with. And that's something that we've already started buying. Lit Lab, Lit, Lit Lab Games, uh, I need to revise this to 20 to 100x. And I think you guys would already know why this had a lot of sell off, but it's, uh, it doesn't matter for me. It's either all or nothing. You know, this could do 20 from here or it could do 100x. And that would mean 50 cents to about $2 in, in range. Another fantastic deep in play AI is human to AI. Now, this one's been dormant for a while, has woken up. It's a proper project. Go and check it out. Uh, I've got 20 to, 25 to 40 X, which I actually think is a bit over optimistic. So I'm probably going to say 15 to 25 X. Next one I have is another deep in, which is HGPT. And this is again, a, um, a play that I think can do 30 to about 75 X from, from the current market cap of $14 million. Last but not least, Beam. Um, Beam can actually perform really well. How, however, because of the size of it, I'm going to say 10 to 20x. And then Godzilla is not, being, uh, it's not out yet. And then finally here, I've got one called MetaHero, which is AI and Metaverse. And I think that can seriously do some explosions uh, from where it is. So to revise that, it can either do absolutely just bare minimums to about 100x. So there you go. That concludes our part two in terms of these pricing, right? But what I would say is think about the narratives and think about in terms of your conviction, think about what you need to do um, in, your, in your cryptocurrency portfolio. Over here, I've got some core stuff uh, that, that I believe will run really well. And that includes the likes of Mint Layer and Casper. I know the haters are not going to like that I have Casper here as a, a premier project. But look, it's not about one project, guys. It's about your entire portfolio. And if you're criticizing other people's pick, what I would say is look at your portfolio, right? Everybody thinks they've got the prettiest wife at home, right? That's a, that, that, that's a, that's a quote from my favorite ever football manager, Mr. Arsene Wenger, right? Now that, that, you know, perceptions can sometimes become reality. But for me, in crypto, you need to understand if you've got calculations down to the T, believe in your convictions, block out the noise, go play in the meme cas casino, make some money and put those into your uh, cryptocurrency uh, projects. Finally, guys, before I leave, uh, I wanted to give you a quick update because so many of you have been asking me about Mint Layer. Um, and uh, look, First thing you got to do is if this is not connecting to your MetaMask wallet, close all your windows, number one. Number two, if you're using a Brave browser or another browser or a mobile phone, forget it. Try to use Google Chrome, link up your MetaMask wallet. And the first thing you should do is if you're, if you don't have tokens from gate.io, which supports the, the only crypto exchange that supports native um, mint layer mainnet, is gate.io so everything else has to be bridged now to do that you need to come here and uh, put your mint layer address connect move all your mint layer to your metamask and then transfer them that way once you do that you'd go to your mojito wallet and once you go into your mojito wallet 24 hours later or eight hours later they will be there then you can go and do the staking right i hope that makes it very clear. Have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.